Hello friends, welcome to my channel Grace Institute. In this video lecture, we will study examples for equation minimization of two variable kmap and three variable kmap. Before I start, again I request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click on bell icon for instant notifications. First, we'll see how truth table can be mapped to kmap. So this is a three variable function a, b, c and y is the function on this three variables truth table is given. So a, b, c are the variables and y is the function representing or y is the function on variables a, b, c. So as there are three variables, we have to draw three variable k map and we have to write variables in the sequence given here. So if the sequence here is a, b, c, we will write same sequence here a, b, c. So this is three variable k map and it will have total eight cells. We will number the cells 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now for, for the first row value of a, b, c all are 0 and the function value is 1. So cell number 0, 0, 0, 0 value is 1. Next is 0, 0, 1 value is 0. 0, 0, 1 value is 0. 0, 1, 0 value is 1. 0, 1, 1 value is 1. 0, 1, 1 value is 1. Next is 1, 0, 0 that is 4. Function value is 0. 1, 0, 1 function value is 0. Then 1, 1, 0 that is 6. Function value is 1. And 1, 1, 1 that is 7. Function value is 1. So this is how you can map the truth table into the k map now we'll see how re how equation can be represented in k map so consider this is the equation it is in standard sop form so to represent equation in k map it should be in standard sop form so it is standard sop form and min terms we know that min terms are represented by 1 so if the variable is complemented variable, we will represent it by 0. And if variable is uncomplemented variable, we will represent it by 1. As these are mean terms and mean terms are represented by 1. So for uncomplemented variable, we will take 1. And for complemented variable, we will consider 0. Again, make sure that the order of the variable is same. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So for first mean term, it is 0, 0, 1. For next, it is 0, 1, 0. For next, it is 1, 0, 0. And for next, it is 1, 1, 1. All three are uncomplemented. So we'll write the decimal equivalent of these binary numbers. So 0, 0, 1 is 1. 0, 1, 0 is 2, 1, 0, 0 is 4 and 1, 1, 1 is 7. 7. So, in short, this equation can be represented in the mean terms as sum of mean terms 1, 2, 4, 7. Now, we have to map these mean terms to the k-map. So, this is 3 variable k-map. Variables are A, B, C. Three variable k map contains eight cells. And now as mean terms are 1, 2, 4, 7, we have to write 1 in the corresponding cell numbers. So cell numbers we know 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have to write 1 in the cells which are in the mean term so 1 2 4 7 so cell number 1 cell number 2 cell number 4 and cell number 7 will contain 1 and rest remaining 4 cells will contain the zeros 
this is how we can represent equation in k map now we'll see how we can minimize the equation so consider this is the function a b c sum of min terms 0 3 7 so if truth table is given like here if truth table is given we have to map truth table to the k map and then we can proceed with its minimization if equation is given we have to map this equation to mean terms and then we have to represent mean terms in a k map and then we can minimize the equation here directly mean terms are given so we have to now write or map these mean terms with the k map so again it is three variable k map a b c so we'll write a b and c cells are written 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now for 0 3 7 we have to write 1 rest all will be 0 so for cell number 0 it will be 1 cell number 3 it will be 1 and cell number 7 it will be 1 for all other remaining 5 cells it will be 0 now we have 1 and we have to write equation in SOP so we will make a group of 1's in last video lecture we have discussed how grouping can be done so now see here cell number 3 is adjacent to cell number 7 so we can group these two cells and cell number 0 is adjacent to 1 2 and 4 but cell number 1 2 4 contains 0 and cell number 0 contains 1 so we cannot group this with 2 or 1 or 4 so this will remain the remain as a single cell so for this cell now you can see if you see by columns it contains the second one is common for first variable that is a value here is 0 and value here is 1 for second variable that is b value here is also 1 and value here is also 1 so what is common here that is b similarly here this 1 that is c is common for both because this c is common for this entire row so for this cell also value of c is 1 and for this cell also value of c is 1 so how will you write this it is value is 1 that is b and here it is c so b c now see here here there is nothing common as we are not grouping it with any other cell so we have to write its mean term so for column it is 0 0 that is a bar p bar Again, we are writing equation in SOP. So, 0 means complemented variable and 1 means uncomplemented variable. So, it will be A bar, B bar and for the row, C bar. Okay. So, final equation will be, minimized equation will be A bar, B bar, C bar plus B, C. So, this is how you can minimize the equation. I hope you have understood the concept of minimizing equation and taking variables common by grouping the cells. In next video lectures, we will try to solve more and more examples on 3 variable as well as 4 variable k-maps. I hope you have liked video. If you like the video, please press like button given below the video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me through comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon for instant notifications. Thank you.